And then there's Simon from simonwood.com. Uh, today's wine, it's from Champagne du Ménil, and it's their Amour de Cuvée. Uh, it's a Blanc de Noir, so uh, made from Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier. Um, and on the cap, on the capsule, um, it says uh, Chigny Les Roses, uh, Premier Cru, so that's the village. But it's also got this thing on, I'll hold it up to the camera, um, and it says Sniffing. Can you read that? I don't know why, so I'm going to do some sniffing of the wine, but I'm going to pour it out first, don't I? Sniffing, it's rather nice actually. It's um, it, I don't know how old the um, uh, the wine is here, but it feels like there's a, just a, judging by the way that the cork is uh, fanning out, it's the cork's been in a, a, a bit of time, but not not uh, not ages. If it, if it had been in ages, it'd be far more compacted. But you're getting this um, mature breadiness. Feels like there is some fruit there, uh, but it feels like it's going to be a quite a rich, almost a savoury edged champagne. Uh, one of those that you think, do I want to drink it by itself, or will I prefer to have it with some food? Let's taste it. It's quite a winey champagne. Um, there's um, definitely, I'd, I'd, I'd have it with some food. There's a richness and sweetness, a roundness and um, a bread dough character about it. Uh, there is this fruit there, there's this savoury element, uh, slightly toasty, brioche, um, and it feels, um, yeah, it feels quite rich. I don't know what the dosage is. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's one of those that's uh, way down low. Um, uh, so there is maybe some, uh, maybe I'd have preferred it a slightly drier style, uh, but um, certainly a rich, honest, mouth-filling wine. I'm going to have another slug. Yes, I do like that, and uh, I would set into that with some, uh, I think, just some roast chicken. Um, it's got uh, this weight of... Um, Red fruit flavours. I mean, it, it is a Blanc de Noir, so you, it, it will be more on those red fruits than the maybe the citrus and apple if there'd been more Chardonnay in there. But it's this broadness and richness, uh, and with that little bit of sweetness uh, that uh, that and richness that's coming through, uh, I wouldn't uh, be surprised if it could uh, sit quite nicely with some rather spicy food as well. Um, and um, yeah, I like that. I like it. See you soon.